So when I'm writing React, I often write components like this where they're pure functions. And I'll just export default the function and I'll have my JSX here. But there is one downside that I just found out about um, from doing it this way. So here is my component right here. And you can inspect and look at the React code for this using the React Dev Tools, which is really nice for debugging and for looking at your state and kind of just checking out what's happening with your application. But you'll notice with this, I have this unknown thing here. Um, so everything else, you can see the components that are there. And then right here, we just have unknown. And that's because we didn't give this guy a name. We're just export defaulting the function. So throughout my code, all the time I have this written. So in larger applications, I just have ton of unknown tags in my uh, JSX. So now I can't just search, you know, for my component because a lot of them are called unknown. So that's not very helpful. So to fix this, you know, you can write one extra step which is what I have started to do. So const app2 is equal to this, and then I can do export default below here like that. So I write a little extra code to like name this right here. But then if I come over here, I can see it's no longer unknown, but it's app2. So I've just started in my components now, instead of just doing export default, naming it like that. But this is only something that occurs with functional components. For example, if this was a class, and I call it app2, it'll automatically give the name, right? Because we have the name here. So if I render this, we can return the same JSX. We can see this guy will be named as well because it'll automatically grab the name from there. Can I call class as function? Um, render export default class extends react.component and then we can see of course this will be named for us so this is something you just have to do when you have functional components like this so now in my code base um, I just recently started converting over when I do export default to using this um, in one of my big applications because I want to see I want to use the React Dev tools to check this out, but the unknown was super annoying. So if you have unknown and you're wondering why that is, it's because you need to name your components, your functional components, um, like this. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.